Hi, Jessica. Um, I'm looking at this and it doesn't look very professional, like it's not something you intend on showing to a client. Because this looks like Times New Roman and it's just a box with purple around it. So, just to clear up any confusion, this is something that will be downloaded from your website. So you do want to make this look like a designed piece. Is this where um, you're supposed to put your signature and stuff? I don't think so. It's usually off to the left. And um, in professional work, you don't use the Greek ink. And um, thirdly, you break up giant blocks of type into separated paragraphs for easier reading. So I got to say, I'm not super impressed by this typography. This font comes on everybody's computers. In fact, I see it a lot with elementary school publications. So I don't see why like any mom couldn't just do this herself. What are you as a graphic designer bringing to the client? Client doesn't know anything about the font.com or font squirrel or any of those companies. You could put in a font for this um, that would look spectacular and they would have no idea how you did it. And it would elevate the simple illustration and the cover letter to a very strong place. So I, I love this Poetry Slam um, typography. The kerning is a little uneven. And I see you're using the script font again. I would cut the content in half. Keep posters simple. Keep in mind um, that people usually read posters on the go. So you don't want a lot of content in there. They paste it up somewhere. They're walking by. You know, they don't sit down and look at it like a magazine. Well, I tell you what, I hate this assignment. I teach this class. But um, this tree is magnificent, and you made the type a lot easier than, to read than most. Um, fabulous illustration. I will, probably, though, would make this font size um, at least one or two points smaller, and then give the viewer a break with this large chunk by adding another paragraph. But nice work. Refreshing drawing. I remember this. Okay, I remember you now. <laughs> um, it's good grid work, especially the bottom half, and I love that subtle X, like a big no. I don't think you've reflected that as well on this page. Like, you've got the perfectly lined grid here. What is a puppy mill has a nice grid, but then over here, this sort of looks like you're not finished with it. Like, this font is really big. Why not just make it smaller and line it up perfectly with these two blocks? All right, so these are two different kinds. I think you have it going on with that big X. The black is interesting, but white text on a black background is considered hard to read. And this looks super friendly with the polka dots. It's almost like a positive vibe with the puppy mill. All right, so it looks like everybody everybody has a version of this in their portfolio. And I'm confused um, why you have this perspective. I guess you're just trying to show that it's a drink box that you made. Well, I, you need a more straight on view too. Like, do you have the schematics that you made? Other than that, you need to bring it into Photoshop and increase the brightness. It's a, the logo, the design on the front face of the packaging is really what counts. And it's not crystal clear. All right, the painting is nice. The typography is not great, though. At this point, you should uh, be able to do better work than this. The font is distorted, and it just looks like Times New Roman. I also think that Napa might be spelled wrong. So perhaps this isn't your greatest piece. The um, painting is really charming, though, but I, I think you really need to take advantage of a site like thefont.com. So you could improve that piece so fast. So um, the painting has a cool sort of rustic look to it. You know, you could use a handwritten font. And this is all free. I think you want something that has sort of a funky flavor. Maybe brush, or this is too aggressive probably, but um, let me hit brush. Like that Beauty and the Beast on top of this would look kind of cool. 
some of these are a little too um, wedding style but there's also eroded fonts that you might want to try this offland or rough would look really cool on there just need to open your repertoire a bit more all right and again this looks like a font that comes on everybody's computer is it the same one you used for the cupcake company it's a charming drawing but you know if you want to use a calligraphy font come over here and you can even type in a preview. Let me type in the word time so you can see what it looks like. If you wanted something that looked like really ornate or this is more subtle, sophisticated one. Package design, phonotech. All right, so I'm looking at the cover of the phonotech piece. I can't read that type at all. It looks all dark. So you need to really consider the viewer. You need to take it into Photoshop, increase the brightness contrast. Um, you already have an X in another design. Do you want to show it again? Is X your thing? You want to think about how the entire thing is looked on by one person, one stranger. This looks nice. I can't see your work at all, though. Can I have a page that shows the flat work as well? Okay, probably don't need these in here. You're a designer. You've already shown your work example on here. So I, I gave you a lot of notes. I don't want you to get discouraged because I do think that um, you have a good base. I just think there's some real easy things you can tweak to elevate your work. All right? And again, this is fantastic. Let me know if you have any questions.